University stress is a hot topic when funding programs to improve student well-being. Literature suggests that female undergrads report higher stress levels than their male counterparts. Why is this? There are many possible pieces at play, but my research focuses on one, the relationship between the menstrual cycle and the stress response. Females in the audience, have you ever tracked your menstrual cycle for family planning? Males, perhaps you have a female in your life and wonder about that time of the month. Tracking the menstrual cycle itself can be a stressful task. Cycles are often irregular and not in a woman's direct control, which is one of the reasons females are underrepresented in health research. The menstrual cycle relies on the hormone progesterone, which rises in the second half of the typical one-month cycle, as seen in graph one. Its role is to maintain pregnancy. Each month, if pregnancy does not occur, progesterone drops and the cycle repeats. But progesterone is also influenced by stress, impacting this natural flow. Cortisol is another hormone more commonly associated with stress. Let's say you're enjoying a hike in Canmore and cross paths with a neighborhood grizzly bear. Cortisol is released to prepare you for fight or flight, a fundamental biological process. However, the cortisol response is modified by progesterone, causing the two hormones to interact. Hypothetically then, if a woman encounters the grizzly on day seven of her cycle, when progesterone levels are low, the resulting change in cortisol will be average. But if she encounters that grizzly on day 21, when progesterone levels are naturally high, the change in cortisol will be much greater, as seen in graph two. Cortisol is made of the same ingredients as progesterone, so the body steals resources from high day 21 progesterone to produce more cortisol. So how does university stress impact a student's menstrual cycle? Well, if the student completes a semester constantly stressed, imagine being chased by a grizzly all the time, like in graph three, cortisol will be elevated and progesterone low, causing symptoms like anxiety, infertility, and low libido. These symptoms suggest that long-term stress may therefore impact females more than males. My research will help clarify this complex relationship by tracking perceived stress levels and measuring cortisol and progesterone levels across the menstrual cycle throughout the academic semester. The role of females has drastically changed over the last few generations, exposing them to new types of stress and as a result, new physiological adaptations. In this way, female stress is like a game of chess with different threats at every move. My research will help our understanding of female physiology catch up with their evolved roles in society and the novel stressors that females perceive as threats. Thank you.